This is the woven wheel or the woven spiderweb stitch. It creates a raised woven stitch on an odd number of spokes of thread. So I have nine dots around in a circle here on my fabric. And I'm going to bring my thread up on an outside dot and take it down into the center. And all my spokes will be worked this way from the outside into the center. It's best to go down into the center when you have this many stitches converging on the center so that you're not displacing them by trying to come up in the middle of them. So work from the outside in. And you're going to do that all the way around the circle. I'm using a pearl cotton here, which makes a great base for this type of stitch. Now I'm going to bring my weaving thread up between two of the spokes. I'm working with a tapestry needle. It has a long eye and a blunt tip so that it doesn't snag the stitches. Now for the weaving part, all you're going to do is go over and under alternating spokes. So over and then under all the way around the circle. And you can do several threads at a time at the beginning. So it goes very fast. As you fill up the circle, you won't be able to do as many at one time. And you can see here why it's important to use an odd number of threads because the over and under alternate right here on every spoke. And if you're using an even number of spokes, that won't happen. So just work your way all around the circle and pack your threads, pack each row in as you go, just over and under each spoke until you have your circle all the way filled up. And you can fill it all the way until you can't see any of the spokes if you want or you can leave the spokes visible. It depends on the look that you want. It becomes a little more difficult to fill up as you go around the circle. Remember to pack your stitches in a little bit, but not so much that they start to overlap each other. So all the way around, and then when you come to the end, you're just going to take your thread down, and I always kind of tuck it underneath the stitches that are already there and pull through. And that is the woven wheel. You can tuck around with your fingers and get it looking nice. And that's it. For more tips and techniques on hand embroidery, stop by and visit me at Needle and Thread.